everyone welcome back to another video today we are going to do a video specifically on how to use this doll 133 sharpener those of you that have been watching my videos for some time you know that I am always praising this pencil sharpener it is my absolute favorite and so many of you that are in my Facebook group are really loving it as well but there are just a few of you that are not having a whole lot of luck with it and I think that is because some of you don't really know how to use it and so I wanted to make one video so I could have it here sitting on my channel just to show you specifically how to use the doll 133 sharpener so that when you search my channel it will very easily come up I have a complete review on this pencil sharpener if you would like to see that I will make sure that's linked in the upper right hand corner and I've showed several times how to use this pencil sharpener I've just never done it all just in one specific video so <laughs> this video is going to be titled how to use the doll 133 pencil sharpener and I think once you see this video those of you that are struggling and having trouble I think that it will really help with that being said this video is also going to be a shorter video I am having a lot of camera issues and so I had to grab a much older camera just to be able to record my videos because my camera unfortunately broke yesterday. So <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to get this video up and out to you and I don't have issues with this camera. Supposedly it overheats and is not such a great camera. I think it's probably seven or eight years old. So hopefully this goes over well and I'm able to complete this video. <laughs> If you enjoy videos like this, please do make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn your bell notifications on. If you check the description box below, you will find links down there to my Facebook group as well as my email list and my Patreon if you would like to support me there. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So this is the Doll 133. You all know this is the pencil sharpener that I praise all the time and absolutely love. I just wanted to show you exactly how to use it. So I think what a lot of you are struggling with is the fact that you are not pushing this part in here before you pull this out. So before you get ready to sharpen a pencil, you need to push this in and you need to pull out. And then when you get ready to put your pencil in, I have my Prismacolor, These, this pencil sharpener is fabulous for the Prismacolors. I used to have breakages all the time and since finding this pencil sharpener I no longer have breakages because with the Prismacolors if you put too much pressure up here on the lead of your pencil being that they are so soft core they are going to just break. The lead is just going to completely break off. And I also want to mention if you're using this pencil sharpener and you have a lead stuck inside the blade then it is also going to break off the tip of your pencil and I'm going to show you that as we get into the video. I grabbed this pencil because this is a brand new Prismacolor and I want to be able to show you exactly how many times we need to turn the lever for a brand new Prismacolor. So to use this pencil sharpener you are going to push this in and pull this front face of the pencil sharpener out so that you can insert your pencil. So you would have to push this side button again to be able to insert your pencil and so now your pencil is inside the sharpener. Now this is a brand new Prismacolor and we all know that we don't like sharpening away any of our expensive colored pencils. So we're going to see just how many times I need to turn the lever to sharpen the pencil. As I'm sharpening you're going to notice the face of the pencil sharpener go closer to the base of the pencil sharpener. So that was about one two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was eight turns and I have to push this side in to be able to release the pencil. And that is the beautiful sharp lead that I got with eight turns of the lever. Now I want to show you this back here because this is very important. So 
if you look at this here it's got this little turn dial here and you can see it shows you a picture right here of a very sharp tip of your pencil and then over here a more dull tip of your pencil and I think I'm going to go ahead in this video because I've never really shown this on camera before I'm going to show you exactly what kind of tip you're going to get on your pencil so right now I have this lever turned tightly all the way to here because that is the um, lead that I like on my pencil and as you can see this is the lead that it produced which is here let me hold my hand under this so you could actually see the lead because this color is not so bright and I think it's kind of blending in with my cutting mat. So that is the lead that you're going to get after eight turns on a brand new Prismacolor. So I am going to just turn this knob all the way to the other side and I'm going to grab another brand new Prismacolor and we're going to see exactly what that does. Okay, I have a brand new chocolate pencil. That's what the Prismacolors look like when they are delivered to you brand new. That one has definitely never been sharpened before. So I'm going to pull this lever out again, put my pencil in, and I could actually feel it when I put it in. It actually does not go into the pencil sharpener as far as it did the first time. And I was not familiar with that because I don't ever sharpen my pencils to a more dull lead. So that was one, two, three, four, five, and I could feel that it stopped sharpening. So if you want the other kind of lead, the really pointy pointy lead like this one, it's going to take you a lot longer and the pencil sharpener would have kept allowing me to turn the lever, but I could feel that it's pretty much not doing anything anymore and it's telling me that it is time to release the pencil. So I'm just going to pull the pencil out and this is the kind of lead that you would get with the doll 133 on that setting. Now you can turn this about halfway. Let's go ahead and do that and see. Let's try right there and let's see if I could find another brand new Prismacolor. Here's a brand new terracotta. So again, we're going to pull this out, put the pencil in, and let's see what happens now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it stopped sharpening. So that is the lead it produced at about halfway. So let's look at the differences in these that we sharpened. So here are the differences. This one is the dullest setting. This one here is about, I might not have been all the way halfway, but you could see the difference. It kind of revealed a little bit more of the actual core of the pencil. And so you could see the difference there. And then over here, we have a much sharper one and it revealed a lot more, giving it a much sharper lead of my pencil. And the next thing that I want to show you, this is one of my Pablo's and I want you to be able to see how my doll 133 is going to perform with my Pablo's. Now this is a hexagonal pencil. I don't know if you can see that as I turn it. Let me show you this way. But these are hexagonal. They're wonderful pencils. I believe they are oil based. So I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to insert my pencil. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it on the setting that it's on. And I am going to start turning this. And it already stopped sharpening. So that is the lead that it produced. And it didn't even have to sharpen that much. Now let's go ahead and turn this just a little bit. A little bit further to the sharper side and I'm going to put my pencil back in again I'm going to push this so that I can insert my pencil my pencils nice and safe in there now and I'm going to turn this again and let's see how many times we can turn the lever 
before the sharpener lets us know that it is actually done sharpening. And it actually wasn't much. It's already done. And you could really, really feel it, and it will allow you to just release that pencil. But it made it just a little bit sharper. And so now, if we go all the way... Oh, I might not have even been halfway because this goes really far. There are so many different degrees of the um, turn that you can do here. And so I think that it is going to give you lots of different choices for your pencils. And like I said, I don't usually play around with that so much because I like to leave it just on the sharpest one. But now it's on the sharpest one, so we're going to see how much more the pencil sharpener will allow us to go. And you can see that it's doing a fantastic job with my hexagonal pencil. Two, three, and it's released. And when it does release, you don't have to push this in. Your pencil is just going to come out if you sharpen it until the auto release activates and that is nice beautiful sharp leads I like. If you are heavy handed this is going to be a great pencil sharpener for you because you can if you want to use Prismacolors and we all know how soft they are and if you are heavy handed you are going to probably break the tips of your pencils if you go and do what I'm doing where you put it on the sharpest setting but there are so many different settings from here to here, as you saw how many times I was able to turn this little knob, you can choose so many different settings for your pencils and how you want your leads that you can do it really, really dull. You could do it just a little bit dull. You could do it kind of in the middle. If you are heavy handed, it's probably going to be really great for you because you can use a lead that looks more like this. And this was on the very dullest setting and this would probably work much better for you. Now I have one of my Brute Fooner Squared pencils. Y'all know how much I love these pencils. This one is for my replacement set, so this is a brand new fresh lead on those pencils, and I just wanna show you how well this pencil sharpener also works when you use a pencil of any shape. This one is square, and so this is actually one of the only pencil sharpeners that I have found that works well with the Square Brute Fooner and a lot of people in my Facebook group, I know you all have tried out different pencil sharpeners and you're always posting, asking me what pencil sharpener can I get because whatever pencil sharpener you have is not working well with these pencils. So I'm just gonna show you now how it works and how it reacts to this one. Let me go ahead and just not put this on the sharpest though so that we can maybe see what it does after about halfway. So again, I'm gonna put the pencil in here. And it released. And you can tell, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is not sharpening the pencil anymore. And that is the lead I have on my beautiful Brute Fooner squared pencil. So as you can see, it works on pencils no matter what shape they are. I've got a hexagonal pencil and a squared pencil and round pencils, and it works fabulous on whatever pencil you are wanting to sharpen with this. Now let me talk about how to clean it out because I think that the reason that so many of you are having issues is because that you're getting something or one of your leads are breaking off inside the pencil sharpener and you are possibly getting something caught inside the blade. And so to remedy this, all you're gonna do is you are gonna turn this right here. And what that's going to allow you to do, I'm gonna make a mess on my desk, watch this, but what that's going to allow you to do is pull the blade out of the pencil sharpener. So this is what the blade looks like. And it is a pretty heavy duty blade, although the casing of the pencil sharpener is plastic. That really does not matter because the inside and the blade is fabulous. But sometimes if you look closely, you could see that there's a lot of debris in here inside my pencil sharpener in the blade. So a lot of times I'll just remove this 
and I will clean all of that out. Now, there have been times when I have noticed that there is actually a lead stuck in here. So sometimes you will see, you could very easily look at the blade and you can see that there is a um, lead of your pencil that got stuck inside and sometimes it will get stuck right in there. And so if that happens, your pencil sharpener is not going to work at all. Because I see so many of you coming in my Facebook group and saying, it doesn't work, it won't turn, it won't do this, it won't do that, and I think that it's broken. It's probably not broken, but you probably just need to pull it out just like I did. Look closely in here. Sometimes I will go over to the trash can. Let me see if I can get a little cut and demonstrate this. Okay, so I have this little cup here, but I will take it over to the trash can, and I will just do this over the trash can. And a lot of times that um, will just release and if it doesn't I will just do this and turn this part of the blade. So if you just turn this it will help you to release whatever has been stuck in there and then I just do this as well. If I can't see it initially I will just turn this until I can see whatever is caught up in there and sometimes you may even need to get a toothpick or maybe a paper clip or something and just kind of move it around right there and pop the lead or whatever it is that got caught in your pencil sharpener and is stopping it from working. And it's, it's actually worked wonderfully for me. So then you would just take this and you would put it back inside your sharpener. You have to line it up with the little grooves that are here on the casing and then you would just turn this to tighten it back up and that is how you clean out your doll 133 to get it working again and then down here is where it houses all of your shavings from your pencils and if you let this get too full and you don't empty it, it's also going to cause your pencil sharpener not to work. So make sure after you've sharpened your pencils, every once in a while, you are making sure that you empty this. So that is, I think, all there is to this pencil sharpener. And it is a fabulous pencil sharpener. And I just, I don't know, I wanted to make this video because I know so many of you are struggling. I actually had one person in my Facebook group today post that they had realized that they were actually not pulling the front part out. I have seen many, many people not know that they have to pull this front part of the face of the sharpener out to be able to insert their pencils. And then I had seen somebody else that had made a post that they actually made a video and they were taking their pencil, they weren't pushing this in and they were taking their pencil and just forcing the pencil in and so I think that they caused their pencil sharpener to break because if you look at this it's going to stop my pencil, it's not going to allow my pencil to go inside but if you force it enough you're gonna break your pencil sharpener and you are I mean, you're just going to break it. You're not going to be able to use it anymore. It's not going to work the way that it should. So I think this video was very, very important. And for all of you that are thinking about getting this pencil sharpener, I think it's a really great investment because it's not that expensive. I know a while ago they were $11, but Doll is, I've actually reached out to Doll and I've spoken to them and they were having issues keeping it in stock. I don't know if it's because of my videos, I know that a lot of you have purchased this pencil sharpener because you've seen my videos and so they were having trouble keeping them in stock. Now I believe that they have, I think the one that is up there for sale now is possibly a different color and a limited edition uh, pencil sharpener but it is $19.99. This pencil sharpener is worth it whether it's $19.99 or it's $11. <laughs> I would pay $19.99 for this pencil sharpener all day long because it's the only one you're ever going to need. Now for those of you that are um, taking your coloring out and away from the house and you need a pencil sharpener to be able to do that, the only other one that I would recommend is this little comb sharpener right here.
and this little sharpener is absolutely amazing. So that is my recommendation if you want to take your coloring out or even if you just want to freshen up your leads. But I don't know, even if you're just wanting to freshen up your leads, you've got the doll and you can turn this lever over here to do whatever you would like it to to your pencils or sharpen it to all kinds of different degrees. But even if you are just at home and you want to be sharpening your pencils, this Doll 133, whether you want to freshen up your pencils or sharpen them all the way, it's still a great resource, especially because it's got this dial over here and it will help you to decide how sharp you want your pencils and how sharp you don't want your pencils. So I hope that this video was helpful. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. I can't believe I made it through the whole video and my camera didn't overheat. <laughs> I am going to try to get this edited and up for you guys today, but I need to go camera shopping because I need to find myself a camera <laughs> so that I could continue to keep bringing you all fantastic content. <laughs> I hope you all have a fantastic day. Happy coloring. Bye.